Hey guys, YouTube World 100 here. Alright, now continuing on with the Steven Spielberg reviews. And now, here I come to the big one. With review for E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Yeah, so, really what can I say about this movie? People haven't said already. I mean, everybody has already said it. I mean, this film is just an absolute masterpiece. I mean, yeah, this film is like close to 40 years old. And yeah, this has really just stood the test of time. People still do watch this film. They talk about it. They have called it a classic. Yeah, it is just an absolute classic and a masterpiece and really just one of the greatest films of all time. I mean, yeah, I would definitely like say this is... This is uh, Steven Spielberg's greatest film ever. I mean, yeah, this is definitely what I say is his greatest film ever. And I know a lot of people would really put it as his greatest as well. <laughs> I mean, this is, film is just, yeah, everybody has already said it. Just how freaking just phenomenal this entire film is. <laughs> I mean, I've watched it like so many times since I was a kid, yeah. Yeah, and I even did get to have... Like the theater experience for seeing this film back when, like it was released in two thousand, re-released in the theaters in two thousand two to celebrate the twentieth anniversary. Yeah, so I did actually get to go see this movie in the theaters. So yeah, I'm glad that I did get the theater experience to see this movie. And yeah, just this film is just absolutely phenomenal. I mean, yeah, it is just an absolute true masterpiece. And yeah, just. Really, I mean, what don't people know from this film? I mean, of course, like, everyone knows the story of it. It's an alien that ends up, like, being left on Earth, and he befriends a human boy. So, <laughs> yeah. And just, yeah, what isn't uh, famous about this film? I mean, the classic phone home line, the John Williams score, the um, scene, like, the scene with the frogs, frogs, uh, his, frogs, uh, his, uh, Shiny finger. Finger. Yeah, well, yeah, his glowing finger, I should say. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the John Williams score with just the... Yeah, and plus that shot with, like, Elliot riding his bike in the air past the moon. Yeah, just... Yeah, there's just, like, so much memorable and famous elements about this film just they are countless so yeah just yeah this film is just like an absolute freaking masterpiece and yeah like I said it is just one of the greatest films of all time so yeah I would easily just place this like give this film a solid four stars out of four I mean yeah like I just said I that I really would say this is Steven Spielberg's greatest film of all time. Just everything about this film is just, like, so freaking great. So, yeah. So, surprisingly, the cast for this film, really, a lot of the cast in this film really do not have, have like, anything else that they're known for outside of this film. I mean, a lot of the cast for this film, I mean, I really haven't seen in really anything else. I mean, just, well, aside from, of course, like, Drew Barrymore, this film is known as, like, Drew Barrymore's very first film, yeah, she did this film when she was just five years old, so yeah, she was a child actress at the time, and yeah, and who would know, like, back then she would become such a famous actress today, <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's something that this, that this, this film's also known for, it being Drew Barrymore's very first film, so yeah. Yeah, like I said, just everything about this film is just, like, so freaking memorable, and just, you know, just, yeah, love every second of this film. It, it is just, like, an absolute classic. So, yeah, I could probably, like, go on for hours and hours and hours just talking about, like, just how great this film is and just how much of a masterpiece it is because, yeah, there's just, like, so much to talk about with the film. But, yeah, every pretty much everybody has already said it, so there's really, like, nothing else that I can really address that's new about it. So, yeah, it just is just an absolute masterpiece, and, yeah, I've really is one of the greatest films of all time <laughs> all right so yeah like i just said i could go on for hours and hours i mean everyone has really already talked about this film so yeah i really don't think i really need to really dive into it because everyone already knows it so yeah i guess i'll just talk about the premise of the film yeah i mean yeah like i just said like everyone pretty much already knows it so i guess i'll just like skim through it as much as i can because yeah i don't really want to make like a two hour long review for it so yeah all right so I'll just talk about the premise, as if, like, you, know, you don't really know it. <laughs> 
So, yeah, as the film opens up, it shows that there's a spaceship uh, landing down onto Earth. And it shows some alien botanists that are trying to gather some plant specimens. And then, yeah, it shows that one of the aliens and it's like, ends up like being detected by some government agents that are on the scene. And the alien tried to flee back to the ship, but yeah, the spaceship, of course, was, was like, was like forced to flee from Earth due to the government agents. And yeah, the, and so yeah, the ship ended up like, taking off with one alien left behind. And yeah. And then it showed, like, in uh, the San Fernando Valley, in a suburban neighborhood, it showed that, that a 10-year-old boy, Elliot, Elliot, is along with his brother, Michael, and his friends. And then he eventually, like, ends up discovering that there's, like, something hiding in the tool shed. And then he tried to, like, tell his mom, brother, and his brother's friends about it. But, you know, of course, like, they didn't really even see anything. And, yeah. And, yeah, the, of course, like, Elliot's family, which, of course, is his mom, his uh, brother Michael, and his sister Gertie, they really, like, didn't really believe him, but yeah, Elliot, like, was, knew that something was in their uh, shed, so, yeah, Elliot then, like, tried to um, lure whatever it was, and was back to his house, and then he, like, left a whole trail of Reese's Pieces to try to lure, lure it it back to the house, and then, yeah, then one night as, uh, like, Elliot was, like, just waiting outside, like, he actually looked like him, like, sleeping outside to try to wait for whatever it was to come back, and then he, then, like, saw, saw, like, the alien right there, here, and then the alien was, like, slowly approaching Elliot and just placed some Reese's Pieces on his lap or leg or, yeah, just on his chair, yeah. Yeah, and so then, yeah, Elliot, uh, Elliot then, like, lured the alien upstairs to his room. Mm, yeah. And then, yeah, the next morning, then, uh, Elliot then just ended up pretending to be sick so he could stay home with the alien. Mm, yeah. And then, yeah, later that day, then, uh, Elliot then introduced Michael and Gertie to the alien. And then all three of them then decided to like hide, hide him from um, their mother. Or, yeah, and then eventually, as a uh, Elliot, Michael, and Gertie were asking the alien about its origin, then like the alien then like uh, was trying to like illustrate like where he came from, and then he like lifted up some uh, well, he levitated some balls to just represent the planetary system. Um, to just, like, show where he came from, and then, yeah, he also, like, demonstrated his power to them, and he actually revived some dead chrysanthemums, well, yeah, and then, yeah, the next day when Elliot was at school, like, uh, he was trying to tell, like, Michael's friends what he actually did find, and, but, of course, like, they just, like, thought that he was making it up, and then, yeah, when Elliot was at school the next day, then, like, he it showed that he, like, had a psychic connection with the alien. Mm, yeah. And then, like, it showed that basically whatever um, the alien, like, did. Did, like, that would, like, put uh, uh, Elliot under the influence of whatever he, <laughs> the alien would do. Like, the alien, like, ended up, like, drinking some beer and it, like, ended up, like, putting... Like, made up Elliot, like, exhibit signs of intoxication. And then, during biology, as they were, like, dissecting frogs, like, Elliot then just ended up, like, freeing up the frogs. Hogs. And then, as, like, the alien was also watching the kissing scene in The Quiet Man, like, Elliot then ended up, like, kissing a girl that he liked. And then, eventually, Elliot just ended up being sent to the principal's office. Yeah. Then, over time, like, the alien, of course, then, like, learn to speak he, after like he was repeating everything Gertie was saying as she watched Sesame Street he, yeah and then yeah Elliot then eventually like dubbed the alien E.T. and then yeah then like through like the vocabulary that E.T. had learned then he like said phone home so then yeah this like 
of course, the iconic line, E.T. phone home. <laughs> yeah. And then, as E.T. then, like, read a comic strip with Buck Rogers, Rogers, and it showed that a Buck Rogers, like, was uh, calling for help with a makeshift communication device. He was, like, inspired to make one himself to try that to contact his people. People. And so then, yeah, E.T. and Michael, like, helped E.T. build a device to phone home, and then it showed, like, and during this, it showed, like, E.T., like, demonstrated another one of his powers, like, Elliot ended up, like, cutting his finger on a saw blade, and, yeah, uh, E.T. then was able to, like, like, heal, heal Elliot's cut with, like, using, well, his finger glowing, and then just uh, touching Elliot's finger, it immediately healed Elliot. See, yeah. So, yeah, and then, and then eventually, like on Halloween night, uh, Michael and Elliot then were able to dress E.T. up as a ghost to, and to, to pose him as a Gertie so he could get out of the house to uh, use the device to try to contact his people. And then it showed, like, as they were, like, walking out, like, trick-or-treating, it showed that they walked by somebody wearing a Yoda costume, and it's actually, it was actually a really good Yoda costume. It looked very lifelike. So, yeah, that's just, like, one of the... That's probably the best Yoda costume that's ever been made. It just looked very real. Yeah. And then, yeah, Elliot then, like, took E.T. on his bike to into the forest to use the device to set up the device to try to contact E.T.'s people. And then eventually then, like, E.T. used telekinesis to just make Elliot's bike move on its own. Then eventually he lifted Elliot's bike into the air and Elliot was basically like flying through the air on his bike and of course had that phenomenal score. That, that piece is just so freaking phenomenal. Yeah, and then it had that uh, iconic shot of like Elliot flying over the forest right past the moon. <laughs> yeah, which of course is like the, the symbol for the Amblin Entertainment logo. <laughs> so yeah. And then, yeah, eventually then, they were able to actually you make a successful call to E.T.'s home. And yeah, but then, yeah, the next morning it showed that Elliot, like, woke up in the field, but E.T. was gone. Huh? And then once uh, Elliot returned home to, like, his uh, distressed family, like, he told Michael that E.T. was in the forest somewhere and he had to find him. So Michael raced out into the forest to find E.T., which he did, but, yeah, it showed that E.T. was just like, really dying, like, he was, like, becoming, like, grayish-white, like, just right next to a culvert, and then once E.T. was taken home, it was shown that Elliot was dying as well, and then, yeah, eventually then, like, the government agents ended up, like, invading the house, house, and Michael, the mother, and Gertie were being, um, questioned, and it showed that, um, uh, there was a hospital set up in the house, now, to treat, um, Elliot and E.T., you know, he, and up, then, like, at one point, then, like, Elliot was, like, just trying to look over to E.T., just telling him, I'll be right here, but then, yeah, like, just showed that E.T. was slowly starting to, um, um, deteriorate even more, or, and, and it, it, it appeared that E.T., he had died, it, it, you know, it even showed, like, those chrysanthemums just dying being out again, and, but it showed that Elliot then, like, was, re re had recovered, and then, yeah, and then E.T. was, of course, of course, assumed dead, and so then, as they were, like, getting ready to, like, load up E.T. and take him away, he, like, Elliot was just, like, grieving over E.T.'s motionless body, but then, like, it then eventually showed that the chrysanthemums were starting to come back to life again, and it showed that E.T. was still alive, even that his people were coming back. And so then, as E.T. was, like, being loaded up into the van, and Elliot had told Michael that E.T. was still alive, so they ended up um, um hijacking the van E.T. was loaded into, and, yeah, Michael told his friends to, like, get the bikes and meet them in the park. 
dark. And then once uh, Michael and Elliot and E.T. were able to get to the park after evading police and authorities, then and uh, Elliot, Michael, and his friends all then raced their bikes to the forest first with the authorities like chasing them. And then eventually then E.T. used telekinesis again and lifted all of them back into the air with that score playing one more time. <laughs> yeah. And then once they arrived back into the forest, then it just show, then showed that that the the spaceship was just arriving there as well. Oh, and then and yeah, it showed that like ET's heart was glowing as he was ready to return back home, and and then, uh, yeah, yeah. And then like of course like uh, Gertie, the mother, and like the uh, agents all arrived as well, and then yeah. E.T. then, like, said goodbye to Michael and Gertie, and Gertie even, like, uh, gave uh, E.T. the chrysanthemums he revived. And, yeah, E.T. also uh, thanked Michael. And then he tried to, um, have, tell Elliot to come with him, but Elliot, like, just said that he has to stay on Earth. And then, yeah, they, they embrace each other. And then, with E.T.'s glowing finger, he just pointed to Ellie's forehead and just said, I'll be right here. Yeah. And then, yeah, E.T. then took the chrysanthemums and then just boarded the spaceship. And then, yeah, just, like, slowly, like, closed up and then just blasted away. Hey, okay. And then as it took off, it then just, like, left a rainbow into the sky. And it just showed, like, like everybody just, just watching and on. on. Yeah, it just showed, like, the mother looking and... Michael's friends looking, and you know, Michael and Gertie looking, and then it just, the final shot was just Elliot just staring off, off into the sky, and just with that, that great, like, ending music piece, it just was so freaking great, and that's how it ended. Alright, so, oh yeah, so like I said, a really, really great film, um, it just is an absolute masterpiece. Like I've said, people have just really continued to just love and watch this film to this day. And it really is just a really a timeless classic. Again, yeah, like I said, I would say that this is definitely Steven Spielberg's greatest film ever. It is just such a freaking classic. I've watched it so many times and I will still probably watch it so many more times. I'm so, yeah, just... Yeah, words just cannot describe it. Just it is just a phenomenal film. So yeah, I would recommend it. But yeah, you all have obviously already seen it. I mean, really, I mean, who really hasn't seen this film? I mean, if you haven't seen this film, what in the hell is your problem? Sit your ass down and watch the film. Gosh, I mean, you got a lot of problems if you actually haven't seen this film. But yeah. Yeah, but who really hasn't done it? Yeah, everybody has seen this film. So, yeah, I really don't even need to recommend it. It is just such a freaking masterpiece. So, like I said, four stars out of four, easily. All right, so, yeah, I actually did get through this pretty quickly. So, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, you all already obviously know this film. So, I guess I really didn't have to go, like, make it, like, a 30, 40-minute review. So, yeah, I hope this turned out okay for you guys. I mean, since you obviously already know this film really well. All right, so, yeah, I guess that's, that's all I really have to say about it. All right, so that's it for my review of E.T. the Extraterrestrial. I hope you guys did enjoy this review, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.